Okay, so for the second time a unit has to face the mighty column of Snaga, I have gone for Gondor's Shielded Fountain Guard. I decided to go for a new unit this time, an all new unit. And I'm interested to see how these guys perform, because apparently spears are a little underpowered. They should still perform very well in this situation, of course. It's not exactly what they're designed for, though. So I wouldn't expect them to do as well as the Mithril Guard, although there are more of them. So that may very well play into their hands. They have less hit points, though, so it's whether or not having more men in the unit is going to carry them through a little bit more than the perhaps the the damage that they can inflict and their overall individual durability. So let's bring forward the first two Snaga. I've always loved the way the Fountain Guard looked as well, so the shield certainly, I think it improves them. A very scary unit to face in a choke point in a siege, I would imagine. So this isn't really what they're designed for, but they should still perform very well. They are a very resilient unit after all. Love that charge. Spears were always an interesting thing in Third Age. In vanilla I always felt that they were underpowered. And indeed in vanilla medieval they weren't particularly fantastic either. There were some exceptions to this rule of course, namely the elven spears in particular. Some of the gondor spears were okay as well, but that was mainly their pikes. So victory seems certain for the Fountain Guard, and we'll see how well a different type of unit does. They aren't as expensive as the Mithril Guard, they're quite a lot cheaper actually, so... Well, there goes the general already. That's not a terrific start. They have lost a few, so it is quite clear at this juncture that they aren't going to do as well, but this is going to be a pretty good benchmark for the spears. Again, there is the possibility that they are going to be buffed as well across the board, so that's something to bear in mind. Nonetheless, they are... At this point, the Mithril Guard had lost no units, and they're not going to get anywhere near the amount of kills that the Mithril Guard got. That much is very clear. One of the Snaga Stalkers has barely taken any losses at this point. Interesting. So going back to the the design, I do like the the shield. It gives them a bit more of a, a bit more of a heavy trooper look. Because the problem with the regular Fountain Guard, of course, is they can be plugged away at a distance, and that's really the problem of every halberdier and pikeman. These guys, I imagine, much better at dealing with arrow fire crossbows. Of course, should still probably deal with decent amount of damage to them. They are not doing all that well, relatively speaking, in this scenario, however. Okay, so it's time for the second wave to advance, and I would be surprised if these guys made it past four waves, honestly, at this rate. Three or four waves is probably what they're going to go to. It is worth saying that this isn't really the job that this sort of unit will be doing. They would really rather be in a choke point in shield wall, holding back the hordes like that, because the wrapping around here is what's causing the most problems for them, I believe. But it does still give them... It gives you a good idea of what will work with certain units and what won't. They are still performing relatively well in and of themselves, and with a bit of support, they probably would be just fine in this sort of situation. But it just goes to show that you can't isolate elite units just because they are they have high stats and you believe that they can weather the storm because given enough pressure they will fall. These are Snaga Stalkers you have to keep in mind. Against a sort of middling tier infantry unit they would be performing significantly worse so that's worth keeping in mind. Against shock infantry in particular as well they would be falling. Any sort of shielded unit is going to do quite poorly off a charge from shock infantry. That fashion, though. No one can accuse Gondor of not being fashionable. Only half the enemy force remains. Only half the force remains. 
That's not good for Gondor. They may very well not make it to wave 4 at this rate. Now that the fresh group of Snaga have entered the fray. So yes, I would suggest that the spears... I believe these guys are classed as a spear unit. I doubt they'd be classified as a halberd, despite the fact that their base unit is a halberd, the regular fountain guard. So I had heard that the spears were a little bit weak in comparison to some of the other units, and that is playing out here. They are trying to force their way through. It's not really going to work, though. They're not going to make it past wave two. My word. Victory seems certain for the Snaga Stalkers. Well, isn't this surprising? I, d I didn't expect them to get near the Mithril Guard, but I didn't expect them to perform this badly. So that's interesting. A lot of them in here, they just don't have the same durability as the Mithril Guard. They're not able to get the, the same sort of damage done. And now that their line is all over the place, they are getting absolutely shredded. How interesting. Well, there's still a clump of them over here fighting back to back in this glorious last stand, although it's not really all that glorious. Their performance was not all that impressive at all, really. I'd expect them to at least have gotten through at least beyond the fourth wave before they fell. This is a, supposed to be a very high tier spear unit. The elves may have one or... yeah, well, there they go, they fell. The elves may have one or two that do a little bit... are a little bit more elite, but even so, that wasn't a fantastic performance. Only 455 kills, that's a lot, lot less than the dwarf infantry that we saw previously. Next, I think we'll try a shock infantry unit, and then we'll try a higher mass unit, something like trolls, to really get a spread of what's going on, and then we will just cycle through some of the other units to see which is the best in the current format, dealing with this level of trash. But that wasn't a fantastic performance by the Fountain Guard. They weren't in an ideal situation for them. I do agree with that, that really they should be in shield wall and they should be sort of have support so they can't be easily flanked but even so you'd expect them to do a lot better in the face of snaga they only managed to dispatch one wave and even then there were still two from the first wave that were left standing so not a great performance but we will move on to a shock infantry unit in the next video to see how well they do